Hello guys and welcome. So in this video, we are going to learn about your first competition on Kaggle, Titanic competition. I have written one tutorial on my website studygan.com. Links will be in description. We will be taking the code from here and pasting it in our Kaggle notebook. Okay, so let's get started. You need to log in into your Kaggle account. After that, you need to go to competitions. If you are a new to Kaggle, then you will be seeing this Titanic machine learning from disaster project. Click on this competition and it will take you to the competition page. Here is the description how to do the competition, how to take the challenge and what are the data in it. You can do only 10 submissions per day. Okay. So now if you have not joined the competition, click on join competition. Accept the agreements. And we have joined our Titanic machine learning from disaster competition. Now, the challenge for this competition is that, so basically we are going to create a model that will predict the passenger will live or survive or he will be dying. Here is the description how the competition will work. We'll go to data tab and click on data tab and here the overview of data description will be here. Basically, our data is divided into two data sets, two files, training set and testing set. The name of the training data set is train.csv and for test is test.csv. Here is the description of how the variables definition of those variables are there here you can find the data these are the actual data from here you can download the data okay so this gender submission is a file which contains two columns passenger id and survived id so basically this is the sample file for our prediction then here is the test.csv. Before going to test.csv, I should explain you the first train.csv. The train.csv has so many columns. Okay. Basically, it is a subset of the data set which is less and it is the data set which is going to be served as a training set to our model. In training set, we have a survived column. All the columns are same in test.csv, but there is a difference that it doesn't have survived column. And this will be the data set which the model has never been seen. Okay. Here you can see the visualizations of these data. In survived, survived column, zero means the person has died and one means the person has survived. So now let's create our machine learning model for our competition. Click on notebooks tab and then click on new notebook. This will create a notebook for our project. Make sure the notebook is being selected and click on create. We are going to write a model in Python. So this is our notebook. You can change the notebook name from here. Okay. So this is the code cell and we can run the code cell using this button or shift enter. So basically this code is telling that in Kaggle input folder, 
we have a titanic folder and the titanic folder contains gender underscore submission test and train dot csv files so now what we are going to do we are going to read the csv file of train dot csv using pandas pandas is already imported in our system so will give a name train data is equal to pd read csv brackets and inside that kaggle input inside that path of train csv dot csv file now what we are going to do we are going to print the first five rows of the csv file so train data dot head head method is used for printing the first five data sets so shift enter though so the first five rows has been printed similarly we can do for test data set and let's run the code itself and here is the first five rows of the test.csv now what we are going to do we are going to create a machine learning model using random forest model so basically what is random forest model random forest model is a model which has lots of decision trees and among the decision tree the voting is done and the appropriate or most valuable prediction is predicted so this is the code for random forest classifier so first i'll copy this code and paste it here then i'll explain it so basically we are importing random forest classifier from sklearn.ensemble then we are loading the survived data from train underscore data in y variable then we are creating a feature list then using the pandas method get dummies we are converting the categorical data in boolean data in here okay then we are creating a random forest classifier model with n estimator 100 100 decision trees max depth is equal to 5 and random state is equal to 1 then what we are going to do we are going to fit the model so basically we are giving this x the train data and y the survive data in model dot predict we are basically entering the data forest random forest is a supervised learning where we are labeling the data so in predict we are just passing the x underscore test because we are not going to pass the values it has to predict then we are going to create a data frame and in that passenger id and survived data is being imported so this file is similar to gender underscore submission then we are outputting it as dot csv and this is the one we'll run this code and it should give the output your submission was successfully saved now we have created the submission file for our model we are going to submit it to kaggle so that kaggle can score our data set prediction so click on commit click on open version after one two seconds it will redirect and click on output tab and here is your submission a file name was my submission and the output of the csv is my submission dot csv so will submit this output.csv file to 
click on submit to competition and Kaggle has scored our my submission dot CSV and we are getting 0 0.77511 score. So that's it was in this video. If you like my video, give a like, thumbs up and motivate me to make such kinds of videos by subscribing my channel so that I can make such videos for you like on the topic data science and machine learning. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.